Hi everybody. Thanks for checking out my infrared sauna. This is where I sit in my infrared sauna and sweat it out, detox, talk about spiritual things that I need to hear to make my life better, more focused, and more able to manifest the things I want. So I started a series. Oh, and by the way, I'm, I'm working on the lighting in this sauna because I don't know if you can see it. Ooh. Okay, it's pretty low lighting in here. So, and I changed the lights based on the color because I do color therapy. See, like, you can do color therapy where it changes to blue, to pink, to dark, to red, to green. And back to sort of a mixture of all of them. Anyway, the lighting in here doesn't like my camera and or going into the video editing software. So I'm working on that. It just gets a lot of noise. And so today I added some light and hope that's going to make a difference. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. But <clears throat> I started a series um, about the 12 spiritual laws. And today we're on law four, okay, which is the law of correspondence. And this is a really important law because it's basically an information law. It's not so much like you, it's so that you understand. And, and all of these spiritual laws, energetic laws are basically so we know how to, we know how energy works and how to use it to our advantage. So the law of correspondence says basically that whatever's going on in your life and however you're, you know, whatever, things you're struggling with is a direct reflection of your belief systems. Okay. And so for example, if you're struggling finances or you're struggling finding some sort of a deep and loving relationship, there's some sort of belief system that you have from some previous programming that is basically manifesting that in your life today. So, <laughs> This is so profound to me because I'm looking at my struggles and I'm thinking, well, what the hell is my belief system if I'm having these struggles? And so somehow I have to reprogram so the correspondence of my beliefs is manifested in my life all the time, right? And that my belief system is in alignment with what I want to manifest. Huge. Oh my God. Okay. I'm so happy that I'm doing this series because it really is, you know, it's really fine tuning and getting to the meat of how, how to live so that you really, really can, you know, manifest the life of your dreams. Like, wow, that's so cool. Okay. So I guess I got to get busy getting some things in order. Oh, and that reminds me, and I'll put a link I was going to before but I don't think I ever did. Um, the, the, I've, I've read and I've heard and I practiced that um, from the time you're zero to seven, you're basically programmed because you're in a theta state of receiving information. And so you're basically programming your brain from zero to seven as to your belief systems. And, you know, all of that stuff is apparently 98% of what you manifest through the rest of your life. And that's huge because a lot of us had a really traumatic childhood and a lot of loss and a lot of craziness. So a way to reprogram that, one, understand the spiritual laws, but two, you can take theta wave sounds and you can get them on the internet. I'll put a link to one that I use specifically and you can meditate with those sounds and reprogram your brain from all that programming from when you were zero to seven years old. <sighs> it's really time to get it together. This is the year of manifesting. So might, might as well just make it happen. Okay. So I've got 53 minutes. It's only 132. I'm just barely starting to sweat and I'm going to meditate on reprogramming my, my dog's barking. Why? <sighs> anyway, reprogramming my, um, brain to really be in align with man in alignment with what I want to manifest, you know, big deal, the law of correspondence. So please subscribe everybody. It's so important for me to think that you guys are really paying attention. It's really, I mean, it's great information to have, so might as well. Anyway, blessings to you all. 
Blessings, blessings, blessings. And... Ah. <laughs>